Hello everyone, welcome to Thyrus Web Development Devs and Tutorials. In this video, I will show you how to install Tailwind CSS with Vite, which is a super fast development environment for Vue by the creator of Vue himself. Let's follow the steps provided in the Tailwind CSS documentation. So let me go to tailwindcss.com, documentation, start learning, and here in the integration guides, you will find one for Vue. With and particularly with. So let's follow the steps here and if we face any errors on the go, we'll see how to fix them. So first let me open terminal and I will first cd into my desktop. That's where I want to create a project. So now, according to this, let me copy this first, paste it here and I will name it Wheat Tailwind. Now you might see some videos or tutorials that make use of Wheat app instead of Wheat.js slash app. Please note that it's currently deprecated. So right now this is the way to create a Wheat app. Let's proceed. Enter. So this will ask you need to install the following packages that is Wheat.js. Okay to proceed? Yes. So type Y. And once that's done, it will ask you to select a template. So click the down arrow mark and select view. Enter. And now that is done, you need to cd into the project. So cd with tailwind. And then we need to run npm install. But I'm going to first open this in VS Code and then do that. For that, let me type code space dot. So it will open up. VS Code with this folder and here I will open up the terminal again. So now let's do npm install. This is done. Let's go back to, let me close terminal. Let's go back to the documentation for setting up Tailwind. This is what you need to do. npm install dash d, Tailwind CSS latest, post CSS latest and auto prefix latest. So copy this, paste it here. This is also done. What's next? Next, we need to generate the tailwind.config.js and the post css.config.js files for that npx tailwind css dash p is how we do it so here if you avoid dash p you will only get tailwind.config.js but the dash p option helps you generate the post css config file as well so hit enter and now you'll see that both of these are created with the default options going back to the tutorial that's what it says it says that you have tailwind.config.js and post CSS as well. Now, next step is required to remove all the unused CSS styles in the production build. So, copy this line and replace it with this. What it does is it mentions the paths of all the files in your app where you write your HTML, that is wherever you write the Tailwind utility classes so that it can remove all the unused ones and you end up with a very small CSS file in production. Next, we'll need to create a CSS file. And let's do that within the source. So new file, you can call it anything. Let's call it tailwind.css and go back to the documentation here you need to copy these styles and paste them here this includes all the base styles component styles and utility styles what tailwind will do is it will swap these directives out at build time with all of the styles that are required okay so next we need to import the css file that we just created so in our case it's not going to be index.css it'll be tailwind.css we need to import this within the main.js file so let's go to main.js and here oh sorry import dot slash that is within the same folder 
tailwind.css save it and that's it now you just need to run npm run dev and you will be ready to use tailwind let's see npm run dev and it's done so we have a server running at this link so click on it and yes we know that tailwind is installed because otherwise you would see this logo in the center anyway let's cross check so let me go to so let me go to app.view and here let's add a class which is mx auto which is a tailwind utility to center uh, to make the horizontal margin auto so this works so you know that tailwind is installed inspect element and yes mx auto has translated to margin left auto and margin right auto congratulations now you can build projects using view and tailwind thank you for watching hit a like and share this video ahead if you enjoyed watching this don't forget to subscribe below and turn on the notifications so you won't miss a single video from tyrus